All right, fabricators, big news from the Microsoft Fabric Conference. I'm, I'm actually on a little bit of a layover from SQL Bits at home, and I had to get this video out. The number one thing you've been asking for, we got it in Microsoft Fabric folders in your workspace. Coming up next on Tales from the Field. It's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. As I said at the top of this, we've got folders. This is the number one thing people have been wanting in their workspace. I know I've been wanting in my workspace. And I'm not going to waste a lot of time here. Just a quick reminder, if this is your first time finding us over at Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Monday, we ha typically have our SQL or our relational database content. And then on Tuesdays, we have our Azure Data Community Roundtable, where we feature content from the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. And then on Wednesdays, we have something typically doing with analytics or Microsoft Fabric. And that's what we're doing right here today. We are talking about notebooks. Again, let's just dive straight into this because this is going to be fun. I'm in my Fabric workspace and you'll notice some really cool new icons. We've got the capability to clear all if we have a filter or the individual items are listed that there's filters on. So I come over to filters. I don't see an option for folders. Well, that's because I haven't created one yet. So we come back to new and then we click on folder preview. I've got a demo I do for my session, harness the power of notebooks and fabrics. We're going to create that and then I'm going to organize it. But where's my folder? I've got a filter on, so I can't see the folders just yet. So what do I need to do? I go over to my filters and I add my filter for my folder. Now my filter has appeared. There's that fabric magic that we wanted. Okay, so now I can see I've got a filter for folders. I've got a filter for notebooks. How cool is that? I can filter by my folders to be able to find them very easily. That's a lot of power that we've got. Now let's go ahead and let's clear everything. And I want to add things to my folders. So the way that I do that is I go to move to, I'm going to select the folder and I'm going to say move here. But what if I don't want to do that one at a time for items? I've got multiple items here, right? So I'm just going to check all those items, go up to move, click on my folder. Oh, there's a little bit more of that fabric magic right there. There's everything. There's all my items. But wait, there's more. I've got a lot of presentations. So let's go back to our root folder. Let's make a new folder. Let's call it presentations. And what I'm going to do is we're going to create this folder and then I'm going to move my presentation into my presentations folder. That's right. We have subfolders. Look at this. Look at that fabric magic. How amazing is this? We not only have folders, we not only can move multiple items at the same time, but we also have subfolders. This is amazing stuff. Like I said, probably the number one request that you asked the product group for and they have delivered. All right, well, I'm off to FabricCon, but sound off, let us know. Uh, do you like this? Do you love this? Anything you're looking for, any questions you have, we would love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. As always, be good to one another and take care out there. Bye everybody. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.